So often we give you these stories of athletes coming back after ACL surgery or coming back after COVID, and we are impressed with how well they do. Well, as Bachman Turner Overdrive once sang, you ain't seen nothing yet. First of all, stage four cancer is the absolute scariest diagnosis one can receive. And secondly, Justin Hardy is not waiting until after the treatment, he's performing during it. With the help of photographer Randy Schwankert, we give you the story. Sports Plus Spotlight is sponsored by AAA Auto Insurance. It could have been just a story about a young man smart enough to graduate from Washington University with a double major in accounting and finance in three and a half years. It's not. What Justin Hardy is doing right now is a miracle. While it's crazy what he's doing, it doesn't surprise me because that's just what he's made of. WashU basketball player Justin Hardy has always had a flair for the dramatic. Even back in high school in Chicago when he was hitting buzzer beaters. I know what Justin Hardy is about. He's never lost in anything he's done. Last April, Justin was in great shape. We maxed out in the weight room and he did like 450 pounds in deadlift. Then the pain came in his stomach and shortly afterwards, he was in surgery and then he woke up. Based on you know the way the surgeon was talking about it and the way they were kind of looking at me when I woke up from that surgery, I had a pretty good idea at that point that you know my life was never gonna be the same. Justin has a stage four gastric cancer, so stomach cancer, um, and then it's spread to other spots in his body. Um, so that's what's making it a stage four rather than a more localized disease. You know, the prognosis for stage four stomach cancer isn't pretty, but I think I have a lot going for me in terms of I'm not like, you know, most of the people you see with this. You know, the average age for stomach cancer is 68 years old. Okay, you know, I'm 21 years old and, you know, I talk to my doctors about how many people they've had, you know, my age with this kind of diagnosis and you can count them on one or two hands. And you can probably count with one finger what Hardy is doing while he battles this disease. Oh, he's a very unique patient. He's defending, he's running, and he's scoring. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. I don't think I ever will again. Hardy has already had a 28-point game, and then there was the dunk against Illinois Wesley. It was electric. Oh, I lost it. It felt really good. His sister, brother, and dad got to see it. Kind of unbelievable, because Justin said he lost all of his athleticism. I thought I would never play basketball again. He couldn't barely jump 10 inches a couple months ago. Yes, instead of walking into gyms and weight rooms, Justin was walking into the Siteman Cancer Center for treatment. We're talking five to 10 hours a day getting his chemotherapy once every two weeks. And then after he leaves the hospital, Justin goes home with a chemo pump, which runs through his system for 24 straight hours. There he is in practice with it on, sometimes rebounding for teammates, and sometimes just being an encouraging teammate. But a day later, on that same practice floor, he's out running those teammates. And then sometimes, a day later, in games, he's destroying the opposition with moves on the paint and that soft fadeaway jumper. That's with all those drugs in his body attacking his cancer cells. A couple of the drugs have this really bad neuropathy effect, so pretty much my hands and feet are numb at all times, and that's probably the hardest part about playing out there. Is yes, he does hit the floor hard. It's basketball after all. Oh yeah, I worry. Yeah, every time he falls on that ground and someone lands on top of him, I think, oh, that, that doesn't look good. That can't be good for him, but he wouldn't have it any other way. If he can't go in 100% and be the tough guy on the court, then he's not doing what he, what he loves to do. And Justin knows that basketball is one of his best meds. It's what he's done most, done best, and loved always, the game. The game he thought he'd lose he still has. People have played after treatment, but how many have played through treatment? You know, I really consider that I'm living in you know, some of the best days of my life right now. Like I really am enjoying what I'm doing and I'm really happy with where I'm at with things given you know, everything else that's going on. I'd say this is still one of the best 
years of my life that I've lived. It truly inspires me to want to live my life in a better way. I'm, I'm lucky to know someone like Justin Hardy. I'm fearless and no matter what circumstances you're going to throw in front of me, um, you know, I'm going to attack it as best as I possibly can. Last week, Justin tested positive for COVID. He was in isolation for seven days. Today, Washington U, the fourth ranked team in the country, ran their record to 12 and one with a 70 to 61 victory over Rochester. Justin came back and played well. Of course he did. Justin has tried without success to gain acceptance into clinical trials, but his overall health helps him greatly in handling aggressive treatment. We'll take a break and we'll be right back after this.